Hello fellow trainers, Beth here for your tip of the day. I recently bought this desk. It was unassembled, so it needed to be put together. I normally do it myself, but this time I had enlisted some help because I had some other things that I wanted to accomplish that night. So while I was off to the side observing my enlisted help putting it together, I noticed that they were struggling just a little bit. So I asked how I could help. They told me that they needed help deciphering the instruction manual because it just wasn't clear. So I looked at it and yes, there were some steps and some diagrams, but they weren't really clear or concise. The diagrams didn't really match with the wording and so it was, it was a bit challenging. So all in all, my desk was put together. However, there are a few errors. For instance, the bottom piece is upside down. So while I don't care because I have a piece of furniture that's been put together and nobody's going to be able to tell that that bottom piece is upside down, if this were an employee needing to put these together on a production line for customers, that would be an issue because the product wouldn't be 100% to standard. So the quality insurance would either deny it or it would be sold to the consumer and the customer would call and complain because it was built incorrectly. So if you're providing job aids or instructions for your employees, we need to make sure that we're creating them so that they can follow them to standards. Your job aids or instructions are simply your task analysis put into a prettier format. And you can add diagrams, but make sure that they are paired with the steps. They shouldn't be in replace of the steps. And the steps need to be clear, concise, written to your lower 25% learner, so the novice, the person that's never performed this task before, can pick up the job aid and be able to walk through it from A to Z and get a finished product that matches the standards. All steps should start with an action verb and only have one verb per step. So, when you're designing job aids, remember to not make them so complicated that it takes over two hours to put together a product that isn't completely to standard because you don't want your learners feeling frustrated and having incomplete work because their job aids weren't written well enough for them. So again, clear and concise, action verbs to start, written to your lower 25%, which is essentially your task analysis. And that's my tip of the day.